Hi, I'm Len Tolka from OutHereAdventure.com. So, uh, this is kind of an impromptu video. Um, I wasn't planning on doing a video today. Actually, I was just on my way up to Huntsville to visit my mum um, and took a little side trail across Town Line, which is a hydro access trail to come in. And on the way, uh, started hearing some pretty bad clunking noises from the back end of the truck and uh, stopped on the trail to have a quick look and noticed I'd broken two of my leaf uh, uh, springs in the back of the truck. Um, this is a fairly common thing and not to have, uh, you know, not something that requires to stress out about. And I thought this was a good opportunity to um, kind of address what to do in this kind of a situation. I, I wouldn't normally make a video like this. There's a lot of other videos uh, where people talk about off-roading and stuff like that. Um, but it's kind of the reality of, of, you know, things do go wrong and, and it's not something you want to panic about. Um, and so I'm going to show you what went wrong on the truck and how I'm going to fix it. Um, I do have the luxury right now of having made it out. Uh, the way that the leaf came out of the pack, it swung to the inside of the truck and there's nothing for it to hit. If it had gone the other way, it would be rubbing on the back tire of the truck and I would have had to do a trail side repair. Um, and the mosquitoes and the black flies were eating the heck out of me. As a matter of fact, they're eating me now. And it's a hot, humid day and I'm a little bit grouchy and I don't really feel like doing this video, but hey, we don't get to always pick when these things go wrong, do we? Um, so with the gear that I have in the truck, this is the, the gear that I normally travel with all the time. Um, I've got my, uh, my tool roll. This is uh, the Ergodyne uh, Tenacious Ergodyne work gear uh, tool roll. Absolutely love this. This has replaced the, um, the regular toolbox that we would carry in the truck. I like it because I can actually store more gear in it in a very small compact bundle and it doesn't rattle and make any kind of noise which is fantastic when you're driving. Um, and then I have this uh, converted Dewalt uh, cordless drill case where I cut the ribbing out and I just use this for spare parts. A um, couple of small cans of WD-40, electrical tape, um, duct tape, various uh, tire puncture repair. So I carry a bit of uh, this uh, all around with me for this very reason in case I got to strap something up under the truck temporarily. Um, I also carry some 20 gauge stainless steel wire. Um, exact same reason, you never know when you got to do a repair. And I have a box of mixed nuts and bolts. So I'm going to take some of this gear, going to crawl under the truck, I'll show you what went wrong and then how you can do a quick and fairly simple trail side repair. Uh, this is not obviously a permanent repair, but something that'll get you back uh, to civilization. Um, I mean, really with a blown couple of cracked uh, leaf springs, it's not the end of the world. You can still trail with this for a while. It just means that I've lost some of my height and suspension in the back of the truck. And usually when you break one, um, you put more stress on the others. So, you know, if you're going to go out for a, a week long excursion and the first day you break a spring, you probably don't want to carry on for the whole week on a set of broken springs in the back. Okay. This is the stuff we're going to need. Um, I have, cause we're on a dirt and gravel, uh, the hijack is probably going to be fine for this, but I have this uh, aluminum billet plate. It's fairly lightweight. Doubles as a uh, girdle for cooking. Believe it or not, that's what these are for. There's a handle that holds in so you can cook on it. I haven't really cooked on it yet, so I don't have a review for that, but this will make a good base plate. Um, it has some of these um, snap-in for securing the hijack directly to the plate. So it's actually fixed right onto the plate and that can't slip off. I'm going to lay this down, put the hijack on it, pull the hijack out of the back of the truck. I keep it secured just above the wheel wells because I like the weight down low. The other thing I'm going to use in this, a um, little bit, I think the 20 gauge stainless wire is a little lightweight for this job. So I'm going to go with a couple wraps of the all round and some, I carry a couple bags of uh, mixed metric hardware and a little bit of Imperial hardware. That's more for if I bump into somebody else that needs assistance on the trail. My truck is mostly all metric. So I'll just use that to bolt it together and uh, we'll see where we go. Obviously I'm going to have to hammer this back into place and uh, yeah, 
that should be it for now. Let's get it set up. Okay, we got the high, high lift uh, hijack set up on the, uh, the back side of my truck here. Actually, it's just starting to rain now. This is just getting better and better. This is what it would normally do on the trail. You'd get rain and mosquitoes and a little, maybe a bear would come along and bite my butt too while I'm at it. Anyway, I'm gonna jack this up because I wanna take the pressure off the uh, suspension so I can hammer that leaf back in. That's probably good enough there. And it's pouring rain and I gotta get this camera out of the rain. Okay, we are underneath my truck. This is the uh, culprit. Let me see if I can get a better focus on that. There it goes. It's kind of hard to film with one hand and I've got propped up. Uh, yeah, she snapped, obviously. And while I was down here, I was looking over on the other side. I don't know if you can see up there, but the front spring is broken on the driver's side as well. Now, I'm not so worried about the front spring because it's still held by my, uh, my, what the heck are these things called? Not the shackle, spring shackle? Yeah, I guess it is spring shackle, I think they call them. And it's not going to go left or right or come out of the pack. It's kind of sandwiched in there. So I'm not too worried about that. This side, obviously, doesn't have anything to hold it in place. If this had gone to the other side, I'm not sure I can get it right through. Not really the way it is now. It would uh, it would be hitting my, car, my back of my truck tire and could possibly cause a, a rub out or something. So what I want to do is get this back into place and I want to secure it so at least it doesn't go anywhere. Now on the back end, I don't think we have enough light in here that we can see, but it looks like there's a little bit of damage back here too. Anyway, the main point is I'm really annoyed. The black flies are crawling in my ears and kind of pissing me off to be quite honest. Um, I've put the hijack underneath. I've jacked it up now. And having jacked it up, I'm actually, I was expecting to have to hammer this back into the location because before it was rubbing, coming up and hitting the, the top two springs. By taking the pressure off this side, the springs are able to go back. I can just slide this in place now. <sighs> and in the back of the truck, I always carry some of these. Uh, this company is going to get angry at me for forgetting what this thing's called. Lock mat, lock mat. These are like the floor mats you just get at Home Depot. They interlock. I carry two of them in the back because it's just easier on my knees to get in and out. But this is a great example. I'm laying in dirt and gravel and I'm actually quite comfortable. Um, if I didn't have this, I mean, hey, whatever. I'd lay in mud to get this done if I had to. I think anybody else would do the same. And I'm going to be using this all around. I've got some metric hardware here. These are some M5 um, socket head cap screws, some hard washers, and lock nuts so that it doesn't come apart. And this is going to be more than enough to get me back to uh, the city. I should be fine with all of this. Okay, so this is what we've done. I have gone a double wrap around and used an M5, M5, no, this is an M6, M6 socket head cap screw with a uh, nylock self-locking nut. So washers on both sides to make it pretty secure. It's a little bit loose right now, but I haven't taken the pressure off. This will expand a little bit. You don't want to over tighten it necessarily because if you do a lot of movement, you can actually, well, I don't know if you would. I mean, these are actually pretty tough. Hard to say if this would break or not. You have to keep an eye on it. I mean, if you start hearing clunking again in the back, you already know you have a problem. So you gotta be kind of aware of what you're doing. This one, I actually went through the leaf pack around once and then around again. 
and that way when this expands the inner one will get pinched and it can't slide back and forth. So this is going to hold this leaf back in place. Again, this leaf is broken. It's not doing anything. I just don't want it flopping around and potentially hitting my tire on the other side. That's it. Fairly simple uh, solution for uh, not a massive problem. This isn't going to stop you from, you know, getting out of the bush or anything. If you broke, like, one of the, one of the, uh, oh, God, I'm tired. One of the U-bolts that holds your uh, suspension pack in place, then, yeah, you might have a different story here. Same if you break it at the back end. You, uh, you really need a welder on the trail. Now, I have one on board, but most people aren't going to have an onboard welder. Um, again, I'm carrying gear that most people will not have or may never have in their lives. Ugh. Um, but for your general... Oh, it's pouring rain again. Bugger. Black flies, pouring rain, I'm hot and humid, and I'm crawling around under my bloody truck. Anyway, I'm going to get out of here. Uh, that's enough for one thing. That's it. Sorry for the uh, rough and impromptu video. But, uh, like I said, I wasn't planning on doing a video here. Oh, by the way, make sure you chalk your wheels. I don't care what you use. Rocks, whatever. You don't want to be crawling around under your truck with a hijack. Especially because I'm by myself here right now. Um, if something were to happen, pff, bad news, man. You're not getting out of here. Hijacks are notoriously unstable. Even with that um, base plate that I have there, it makes it a lot more stable, a lot more safe. But the upper piece here could slip out. And, uh, and then what? You know, like your toast. So I have enough suspension clearance under my truck, even if right now it were to go. I've just taken a little bit of play or uh, uh, weight off the side of the truck to get my leafs to go in shape again so I can get them together. I'm actually safe under here, but again, on the trail, you got to be really mindful and be really safe. So that's enough lecturing uh, from one day. <laughs>